Fourth time's a charm, I guess. Yeah, I've tried to record this four times. Something always goes wrong. But it's okay. So y'all all know I love Sailor Moon. But something you might not know is I also love tier list videos and I love ranking videos. And I love the Sailor Moon openings a lot and I was wondering if there was anybody that had ever ranked them all. It turns out there's not. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So these are only gonna be the Sailor Moon classic openings. And the only one I'm excluding is one from like, I think episode 89, it was a special episode and it like had the first four openings in a grid style. And I just didn't feel that was terribly necessary. You know, like we didn't really need it. So we're gonna be doing every opening, including the movies from Sailor Moon Classic. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the very first one, which is the original opening. And I'm going to put this one in, I don't hate this. Now here's why. First of all, in general, the first two openings are very, very similar to each other. However, I'm not a huge fan of the art style. I think that they were really trying to figure things out. It's the oldest openings. So of course it might not be as clean or nice. I'm really not a huge fan of some of the backgrounds they chose, but what puts this in, I don't hate this, especially since the first two are almost identical to each other with minimal changes, is that there's a shot with tuxedo masks, cape flowing inside of it. You can see like a webby black and white kind of image. And I just thought it was ugly. And also there's a shot where the silhouettes of Moon, Mars, and Mercury are all floating towards the screen. They reveal Moon, but they don't reveal Mars and Mercury. And you know, maybe that's to like keep their identity secret, except they then reveal their faces in like the next shot, which was very weird and unnecessary to me. It just made that particular shot look almost bad and unorganized. So that is why that is falling there. And for the second opening, which the only difference of the second opening of season one is that where that ugly web was is now like a starry night. And in the shot where the silhouettes are coming forward, all three girls' faces are revealed. So it's going in meh, and here's why. I'm still not a huge fan of it. It's still pretty bland in my personal opinion. And again, they're still figuring out the art style and you know everything, and I still think some of the backgrounds look awkward. Now next up we have the final opening of season one, and this is going in God's Gift to Man. Now here's why it's going there. This is probably my favorite opening of Sailor Moon. I love the Moon Kingdom imagery. I think that the art was done a lot better. I think they really, really improved upon the way that they incorporated the characters and the way that they really animated this opening and made it fit with the music. I just overall found myself finding this one prettier and enjoying watching it more than the first two. I probably have the least complaints about this opening. And again, that's why it's going in God's gift to man. So next up we have the Sailor R movie opening and this is going in meh and here's why. Now this is a consistent trend with all the movie openings. They're a lot more casual and that's fine, but this is just kind of a glorified setup and I'm not a huge fan of that. That's not a real anime opening. Now I'm not putting this in, I don't hate this because the art is phenomenal and they do have these really pretty flashes of flowers from the botanical garden that they're going to. You know about the Sailor Moon R movie, it starts in a botanical garden. And they do sync things to the music pretty well, but still it's just a glorified introduction. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Now next we have the first Sailor Moon R opening and I'm actually gonna have to rewatch this really quickly. Okay, I remember it now. This is going in May as well. Here is why. While in a lot of ways, I believe that the art and animation has gotten better. It's not so much better than I can put it in fave. And also this really just isn't a very dynamic opening in my opinion. It has some beautiful shots like Usagi in that waterfall with the rose petals. But at the end of the day, I think the guardians like Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars could have been incorporated a lot more. A lot of it is just Usagi. And I understand she is the main character. She's the title character, but I still like in other openings, the other girls are featured a lot more than they are in this one. And I do like it more when the other girls are also featured. And while I do think it was better than the R movie opening, and I do prefer it over the opening of season one, the second one, I still can't put it in favorites or like fave just because I don't like it that much. Now, next up we have the second Sailor Moon R opening and this one I can put in fave. Now here's why. So this opening in particular, is a lot more dynamic. I do think we get to see, even if it's not a lot of the other guardians, I do think this is a better way to introduce them and a better way to feature them than the others. And also I like the shot where Chibiusa puts her hand up in the air with the, the time key. I like the way that Sailor Pluto is incorporated. I like how Sailor Moon turns into Neo Queen Serenity and then we get to see her in front of the moon castle. Or it's the Crystal Palace because this is Crystal Tokyo. 
I just overall think this opening is a lot prettier and a lot more dynamic. You'll see I like dynamic openings. Now next up we have the Sailor Moon S movie opening and I am going to also put this one in fave and here's why. Now it's still casual, it's still essentially a setup, but I do think that they utilized the beats and the music a lot better. There are shots where Minako is trying on different outfits and all the girls are there. I like the way that they incorporated them moving. I felt like it felt more like an anime opening. They're moving through like this market type thing. And then I like the way that it ended with Usagi holding like two things of food and she has like a fish treat in her mouth. It's really, really cute. They even incorporated some of the Outer Guardians and that is something that I really, really appreciated. I also like the way that they opened it with Usagi and Chibiusa waving at the other girls as they come to meet them at the market to go and do things. I actually think that that was a way better way to do an opening like that. The openings for the movies just like continue to get better. So next up we have the first Sailor Moon S opening and I'm going to put this in meh because at the end of the day, I think that this one was kind of boring. And the Sailor Moon S openings do get better. You know, the animation and the art style, again, it's better than the second season one opening, but I still think that while I enjoy the shots of like the girls and the like spotlight type things, I do really enjoy that. I still think it was overall not my favorite, but it's not bad enough. Like I don't have enough complaints that I could put it in I don't hate this or trash. And next up we have the second Sailor Moon S opening and that one adds in Uranus and Neptune. And I will say I really, really like seeing all the columns filled in the very, very beginning. However, they don't add enough for me to put it anywhere other than meh. This does become different with the third Sailor Moon S opening where I'm going to put this in fave. I'm putting this here because it is so, so different. First of all, we get a shot of Usagi coming out of the Holy Grail and turning into Super Sailor Moon. The end screen has all of the Guardians, I think except Saturn and Tuxedo Mask. It looks really, really good. And she's Super Sailor Moon here. There's also that shot where she's just like sitting there and all the guardians surround her in this circle type thing. I also like Pluto and Uranus and Neptune's transition out into Tuxedo Mask. I like Chibi Usa being with the cats in her intro. I like how they included Hotaru in this opening as well. I just think that there was a lot better transitions there. I think it was a lot more dynamic and I think that that's probably why I like it a lot more. Now next up is the Sailor Moon Super S movie introduction and this one is going in God's Gift to Man. This one is the peak of a casual opening, but it's amazing. So again, all of the movie openings are very, very casual. They're meant to be casual, but this one takes the cake. It's not just a setup of them walking around. You have, you know, different things that they're doing and then you get pictures of them as kids. And I really, really like the way that they incorporated all that. I love watching Minako dive for a volleyball. And I like watching Ami baking with her mom. I like watching Usagi. I think she's playing with a dog or something. She's playing with something. You know, I love watching the little versions of the Guardians. I think that this one was really cool and really, really nostalgic, especially considering this is the last Sailor Moon classic movie that we get. We don't have one for stars. And I don't know, I like the way that they incorporated the music into it. I really, really like when an opening uses the music to influence its transitions and its animation and its art. And I think that that was done here. And I think that they just continue to improve on the more casual openings of the movies. And this one peaked and it's phenomenal. Now, next up we have the Super S opening. So the first Super S opening I am going to put in meh. Now this opening is going in meh for two reasons. So the two openings of Sailor Moon Super S are actually very, very similar, but the two changes are enough that I am going to give them different tiers. The reason this one's going in meh is because I'm not a huge fan of how in the end card they just slide into place. I never have liked when characters just slide into place for an end card. I think it just looks awkward and I think it's kind of lazy. Or it looks lazy. I don't know if that's more difficult to animate. And also, while I love the Amazon trio, their introduction and transition, especially out of them, is not my favorite. I mean, it looks fine. It looks okay. It's just not as dynamic as what the next one will be. And now the second Super S opening is going in fave. First of all, in the end, they aren't sliding into frame. They like kind of fly and jump into flame. And I think that, that looks a lot more dynamic and a lot cooler and that transition is better. But also the Amazonas Quartet, I think is transitioned in, in a lot cooler of a way. It showcases the four of those girls better. I like the positioning that they're in. We get to see it for a second. And then I like when the red one, I cannot remember what her name is, shoots the little pool ball and it 
goes to the screen and transitions to like tuxedo mask in the rose. I think that that looks a lot better. All right, now we're moving into stars. I need to remind myself of the stars intros because like I remember the second one, but I need to make sure I remember what's different about the first one. Okay, now I've refreshed. The first stars intro is going in meh. Now it's going here because it's there's just less to it. There's really not much there. I mean, it looks cool overall, but there's just so much more to the second one. Also, we've gotten rid of Moonlight Densetsu at this point, and that really, that really kind of puts a dampening on how I feel about the openings, in my personal opinion, just because I think that Moonlight Densetsu is a better opening song. It might be that it's just what I've had for four seasons, but I overall do prefer it over literally any opening of Sailor Moon that's ever been created, over Moon Pride, over all the other different like opening songs, theme songs that have existed. I prefer Moonlight Densetsu. That's why I'm so excited that it's being included in Cosmos. Also, there are just more dynamic shots in the second one. This one, again, just really boring. We do get to see like silhouettes of the starlights, which is super cool, but I like it better when we can see their faces. And again, this one was just kind of like meh, but it was only there for a couple episodes because this was just, I believe the first maybe 10 episodes to close the Nehellenia arc. And so we can move into the stars arc. And so the second and final opening of Sailor Moon we ever get is the second stars opening and that's going in fave. It's going in fave because I think it's a lot more dynamic. I think there's a lot more to it. I love the shots with Galaxia. I think Galaxia like putting out her stuff like this, um, the shots of her face are really cool. I've always loved Sailor Galaxia's character design. I like how she like moves rocks up. I like that we get to see the starlights a little bit more. I just, I just think this is a more dynamic opening overall. And I will say between these two, I do really like the way that it begins with the silhouette of the characters with Makenai as she got it. Like the way it goes into Ginga Mane where she holds out the note and then we get the logo and the title card of Sailor Moon, all that jazz. And honestly, the only thing keeping it out of fave is first of all, Tuxedo Mask gets an insane amount of screen time in these openings when he's, especially to the second half of stars, not important. Spoiler alert, he's canonically dead at that point. Second of all, they don't include the starlights in the closing, like the end card. And I'm not a fan of that. I think that the starlights are so important. They need to be in there. Like I get not including Kakayu cause she's not like super important, at least throughout most of stars, but they should have at least included the starlights like and gotten rid of Tuxedo Mask, at least for the second opening. And also again, not having Moonlight Densetsu kind of like ruins it for me. It just makes me like it a little bit less. But this is my final ranking for all of the Sailor Moon openings. You can see none of them ended up in trash because I don't think any of them are trash. I think that they are all at least decent. And the only one that's even like super low is the very first one they did. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. What do you think? Did you like all the Sailor Moon openings? Let me know. Tell me if you agree with my ranking or not. All right, that's all for today. Stay safe, stay smart, regard. Bye. <laughs>